Good evening, everybody, and, and welcome. Uh, one slight diversion before I introduce Paul. Um, two years ago, during the autumn, uh, when we uh, created this three-year strategy for the society, uh, we set ourselves a target of achieving uh, 500 members by this time in 2023. Uh, during the course of this afternoon, Alex, our membership secretary, emailed me to tell me number 500 has just joined. So I'm delighted to let you know that because it is having um, a high retention rate and attracting members that funds our ability to uh, do the charitable activities, in particular all our awards. Uh, that are so important. So having brought you up to date with that, I'm very pleased to introduce you to Paul. Uh, Paul um, is a very experienced journalist and he is the chap who'd be very pleased if you bought a few copies of this between you. Um, this is the book on All, all Well and, and Tribune with all the As I Please columns, which I view as a prototype blog in the way that he interacted with his readers. Um, Paul, over to you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, what a, a, a marvellous introduction anyway. Uh, um, uh, my uh, topic today is uh, George Orwell's columns for the Left Wing Weekly Tribune, uh, which were published between 1943 and 1947 with a, a couple of gaps, uh, mostly under the rubric uh, As I Please. Um, by my count, there are 103 of them, um, uh, 80 of them uh, 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 are titled uh, As I Please. Uh, I'll get into uh, 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 the differences later. Um, um, and, well, OK. Um, um, I should know because uh, in the mid noughties uh, uh, I edited and introduced uh, 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 what Quentin uh, uh, very kindly uh, uh, described as a, a definitive uh, a collection of them, uh, all well in Tribune, as I please, and uh, other writings. Um, there is, of course, a, a slim possibility uh, that uh, another one might turn up. Uh, 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 published on behalf of Tribune by another paper because of paper shortages in 1947, but I'm not going to get into uh, that. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the book is not uh, available in all good bookshops because it's out of uh, uh, print at the moment, though uh, last week you could get it new in hardback for £1,309.99 uh, from uh, Amazon. Um, I kid you not, or alternatively secondhand for around 20 quid. Um, uh, there will be a new edition uh, out next year as soon as I finish revising the footnotes, um, the introduction and the index, which is what I'll be doing over the Christmas holiday, uh, as well as indulging in the festivities as uh, any Orwellian must. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's enough uh, self-promotion. Um, um, why do Orwell's columns in Tribune matter today? They are, after all, uh, mainly short pieces written for a small circulation weekly uh, uh, more than three quarters of a century ago in a very, very different time. Um, and, well, hey, aren't yesterday's newspapers only good for wrapping fish and chips? Um, and, well, the columns certainly weren't Orwell's main concern when he wrote them. Uh, between 1943 and 1945, when he was uh, Tribune's literary editor, uh, he was writing Animal Farm. And between uh, 1945 and 1947, he was writing 1984. Um, there's also a case for saying they weren't even his main side project. Uh, many of the essays for which he's justly famed uh, come from the same period, 1943 to 1947, and the majority were not published in Tribune, Politics in the English Language, Politics versus Literature, uh, The Prevention of Literature, Why I Write, Second Thoughts on James Burnham, In Defence of P.G. Woodhouse, um, nearly half of the London uh, letters to P. 
partisan review. And on top of that, uh, there was his uh, brief stint as a war correspondent for The Observer in 1945, which my hunch is uh, what uh, Orwell really wanted to do, reportage on events as he experienced them directly. Uh, just as he had in uh, The Road to Wigan Pier and uh, Homish Catalonia, uh, which, of course, was uh, brought uh, uh, short uh, uh, by the shocking death of uh, his wife, Eileen, uh, and, and by his own uh, illness. So, well, OK, aren't the Tribune columns just routine hat work? Uh, the sort of thing that uh, Orwell himself uh, described in Confessions of a Book Reviewer. Churn it out, get the length right, submit, get paid. Well, mm, there's a problem here. Um, well, for starters, uh, Confessions of a Book Reviewer first appeared uh, as one of Orwell's Tribune columns. It wasn't uh, 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 titled As I Please, but uh, I'll come on to uh, that later. Um, um, so did many other celebrated uh, Orwell uh, essays, uh, Decline of the English Murder, Freedom of the Park, In Front of Your Nose, Freedom and Happiness, Some Thoughts on the Common Toad, You and the Atom Bomb, and, well, I could go on. But that's not all. Um, As I Please is an accurate description of what the column was. It was all while writing about what he wanted rather than to commission. It wasn't a matter of reviewing this book or that play or that film. Uh, it was, hey, you do what you like. Um, and at very least, uh, the myriad themes he covered uh, in his uh, Tribune pieces are, well, as important as politics in the English language and second thoughts on uh, 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 James Burnham, crucially important to understanding Animal Farm and 1984. Um, it's a really extraordinary uh, body of work. Everything from high international politics through usage and abusage of language to the wonders of nature. A couple of quotes here. Um, uh, 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 Julian uh, 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 Simons um, uh, 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 wrote, I think in the obituary, I'm not entirely sure, he discussed a hundred subjects, ranging from comparative amounts he spent on books and cigarettes or lamenting the decline of the English murder from the days of Crippen to the spawning of toads in spring. Um, but it's not just the, the range um, uh, of, uh, 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 of uh, Orwell's writing here. It's not just his versatility that stands out. It's also the way the columns are done. Uh, it's a taut, demotic, journalistic uh, style. Prose, uh, as uh, George Woodcock uh, um, uh, put it, that for all its ease and apparent casualness was penetrating and direct. Um, more than that, um, um, despite the diversity of subject matter, um, they form a coherent body of work. Uh, David Taylor, summed it up in his uh, uh, Orwell uh, 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 biography. One of the most engaging features of this column, uh, read sequentially, is the sense of dialogue, points taken up, conceded or refuted, continuity rather than a trail of pronouncements which the reader could take or leave as he or she, she, she chose. Okay, for me, Orwell's column is perhaps the greatest example uh, in the English language of the craft of writing uh, a serious column, uh, turning out 800, 1200 uh, words week on week to deadline, when you've only got the vaguest clue uh, of what anyone else will be doing on the paper, uh, despite what they said in the uh, uh, weekly uh, editorial meeting. Um, it's not easy. I've, I've kind of been there. Uh, I, I wouldn't say they're altogether timeless. They're not. Um, but more than anyone else uh, I can think of, in Britain at least, it's Orwell who defined the way to do it in the late 20th century. Now, 
That's partly uh, because much of his journalism has actually been available for most of our lives. Um, thanks to Ian Angus, who died last month, and uh, Sonia Orwell. There are four volumes of collected essays, journalism and lectures published by Secker and Warburg in 1968, were paperback by Penguin in 1970. Loads of controversy about the uh, 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 selection. I used to think, uh, like many others, that Sonia had excluded a lot of material on political grounds because it was too left wing. But I'm rather less convinced uh, by that argument these days. Anyway, that's um, um, uh, uh, for uh, discussion later. Anyway, we've had uh, most of the uh, uh, Tribune columns, um, uh, well, probably half of them, um, uh, easily available uh, for more than 50 years. And every journalist now writing opinion pieces uh, has read them. Well, again, I'm exaggerating, uh, but I can't think of anybody more read uh, and, well, okay, thus influential as far as writers are concerned, um, maybe still, I don't know, uh, H.L. Mencken, James Thurber, Dorothy Parker in the United States, James Cameron in the uh, UK, mm, not sure. Okay, more recently, uh, perhaps uh, uh, Christopher Hitchens, uh, Neil Asherson, Ian Jack, Suzanne Moore, Francis Wee, Nick Cohen. I mean, I'm talking here about uh, uh, people that, uh, I've been uh, very much kind of uh, influenced by and uh, that I like, but actually, dear friends as they, uh, or some of them might be, uh, or might have been, um, I don't think anyone is uh, read as widely as Orwell is read. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, the overwhelming majority of Orwell's contributions to the Tribune in uh, 1943 to 47 were installments of the column As I Please. The first appeared uh, in December 1943, so 79 uh, years ago, and the last, uh, the 80th, on uh, 4th April 1947. There's a break in continuity uh, after February 1945. Um, the next one under the rubric As I Please doesn't appear for another 21 months. Um, and the reason for that is that Orwell left the Tribune staff to become a war correspondent with uh, the uh, uh, Observer. And in his absence, the As I Please uh, uh, title was taken over by Jenny Lee, um, uh, uh, an Aaron Bevan's wife and political co-conspirator um, who'd become uh, a Labour MP in the uh, uh, July 1945 general uh, election. But Orr was back as a, contr uh, uh, a contributor to Tribune uh, in uh, uh, more or less weekly from uh, autumn 1945. So even though there's the discontinuity in As I Please, he's still very much a columnist. I've no idea uh, what relationship he had with uh, 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 Jenny Lee. Um, 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 she was notoriously uh, difficult to uh, uh, get on with. Um, um, I only ever met her once. But uh, um, uh, anyway, we can uh, 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 pass by that. Uh, but uh, uh, he comes back to write as I please after uh, 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 Lee uh, um, um, gives up the uh, title of the column, November 1946. Um, 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 but uh, anyway, we can go on to uh, that uh, uh, later. Now, Tribune was, and uh, um, um, its raison d'etre, uh, was to be a, a, a political paper. But What's important about Orwell's columns is that he rarely dealt directly uh, in them uh, with um, the kind of subject matter that most uh, political journalists uh, deal with in their weekly uh, uh, offerings, uh, uh, elections, debates in Parliament, 
legislation, policy pronouncement, uh, pronouncements and uh, uh, so forth. Um, and he didn't, on the whole, use uh, his Tribune uh, column to examine in detail latest developments in world affairs. There are exceptions to both. Um, but what's crucially important is that it would be, well, okay, it, it, it would be wrong to come from this to conclude that he was not political in his uh, 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 columns. Um, the columns are intensely political, uh, even paradoxically, uh, when they appear to have nothing to do with uh, 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 politics. He was writing as a democratic socialist for democratic socialist readers. And his role, as he saw it, was to provoke them. Uh, to get them to think about what politics is and what it can and cannot achieve. If there's a single theme uh, that runs all the way through uh, the columns from 1943 to 47, it's that, well, left-wingers need a much more nuanced conception of uh, politics. Democratic socialism is not just a matter of the Labour Party adopting the right policy, uh, winning a, a, a general election, nationalising uh, uh, the means of production and uh, uh, creating a welfare state. Um, it's all of those things, um, but uh, that's not enough. It also involves telling inconvenient truths uh, about the nature of Soviet communism, uh, about the economic consequences of decolonization, uh, about the extent of popular anti-Americanism in Britain. Um, it means reforming the press, defending the right of anarchists to sell seditious literature, uh, countering racial prejudice, all of these kind of like key uh, 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 themes uh, from uh, As I Please and his other work in uh, Tribune. On top of this, the message is there's an awful lot in life that cannot be reduced to politics. Uh, uh, great writers can be very right wing. Uh, people will never tire of uh, celebrating Christmas by eating and drinking too much. And well, hey, the arrival of spring will always be a source of wonder. OK. Um, it doesn't matter where you're coming from on the political spectrum, these things matter. Okay, nearly 40, uh, sorry, uh, 80 uh, years on, uh, this um, uh, emphasis on the lacunae of uh, left, progressive, liberal, uh, call it what you want, politics and principles, rather than the programmatic core of 1940s democratic socialism or the week by week uh, flow of events are what uh, make uh, the Tribune columns more accessible uh, than just about anything else written by his contemporaries. It's true, not everything uh, he discussed is still current. I mean, the Soviet Union uh, is long gone. So is the uh, British Empire. The Cold War has uh, 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 been and gone and, well, OK, we might be having another one uh, 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 now with uh, 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 China, but uh, um, we don't know uh, about that. Um, um, the best writers in uh, Britain haven't been right wing in any conventional sense for some time, but totalitarianism and imperialism are still very much with us. Um, and Orwell's commitment to telling inconvenient truths, um, his warnings about the slipperiness of political language, the sensationalism of the popular press, uh, his concerns with racism and religious intolerance, uh, his conviction that there's more to life than politics are, well, as relevant now as they were uh, in the uh, 1940s, whatever. 
it's undoubtedly the case that uh, uh, Orwell's influence has eclipsed his contemporaries. He was no, by, uh, by no means uh, the only uh, acclaimed British writer of his time who wrote columns for uh, the uh, weeklies. But, okay, who now reads J.B. Priestley uh, for his uh, columns in the uh, New Statesman for his journalism, uh, rather than for The Good Companions, uh, English Journey, and in, in, Inspector Calls. Um, has anyone here heard, okay, I'm sure you have actually, of H.N. Uh, uh, Brailsford uh, uh, or Vernon Bartlett, then certainly not kind of being read uh, right now. And there are there are others too um, who have succumbed to what uh, uh, Edward Thompson, uh, who was not an Orwell fan, uh, called the condescension of posterity. Um, enough though of uh, 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 well, I suppose um, why uh, Orwell's columns matter today. Um, on to um, not at great length uh, uh, where they appeared and uh, why they mattered when uh, they were uh, 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 published. And uh, I'm going to start on uh, Tribune, which um, I suspect is not familiar to most people uh, here. Um, it was uh, a weekly newspaper, fortnightly, when broke, which it often was. Uh, published from 1937 to 2018, and it still exists in a rather strange way um, as a quarterly magazine uh, published uh, by the American Jacobin uh, 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 outfit um, and uh, website, which has, well, almost no relationship to the old paper, um, either in terms of uh, contributors, or I'd say it's politics, but uh, 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 that's as may be. In the 1940s, it was crucially important to British politics. Uh, Anaran Bevan's mouthpiece at the height of his powers, uh, when he was the most vociferous critic of the Churchill government in wartime, um, and then after 1945 in power uh, as the architect of the National Health service. Tribune's role um, as weekly uh, uh, was as the organ of the Labour Party left. And OK, I need to declare interest here. Um, I was its uh, uh, reviews editor between 1986 and 1991. Orwell's old job. Well, that's what I told everyone. Um, it was actually rather different. And I edited it. Uh, from 1991 to 93, and was a columnist from 1999 to 2014. It was my life, uh, absolutely my life, for uh, uh, seven years, an important part of it for another, God, I don't know, uh, a, a lot more. Um, anyway, belated apologies to everyone I let down because of my love affair with it. But anyway, uh, uh, it definitely wasn't as important to Orwell as it was to me, uh, though it remained close to his heart until uh, his death. Um, after he stopped writing for it, he remained a regular reader, um, referred favourably to it uh, in print uh, on a you know, couple of occasions and stayed on very good personal terms with uh, his uh, Tribune friends, uh, Evelyn Anderson and Tosco Fievel, um, with whom he kept up frequent uh, uh, correspondence. Um, he asked uh, Fievel to remember him to everyone at the office in uh, December 1948 and uh, uh, June 1949, uh, um, when you know, the paper ran uh, a, a piece, uh, a, a short piece, uh, uh, wishing him speedy recovery from illness. Um, he asked Fievel to thank the others at Tribune for putting in such a kind part. OK, now. I'm aware that I'm uh, up against it in terms of time here, um, so I'm not going to be uh, 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 taking this um, 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 to the detail that I could. But uh, um, about Tribune, 
It wasn't seven years old when uh, 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 Orwell joined it as a uh, uh, literary editor, but it already had a complex uh, history. It was by 1943, uh, six and a half years on, on its fourth editor, gone through two radical changes of, uh, uh, of uh, editorial direction, at least three uh, life-threatening financial crises. Um, it was launched in January 1937 to support uh, uh, Stafford Cripps's unity campaign, an attempt by him and uh, his uh, uh, Labour-affiliated ginger group, uh, the uh, Socialist League, uh, uh, to secure a, a united front between uh, uh, Labour and small parties to its left, the Communist Party of Great Britain, and the Independent Labour Party against fascism, reaction and war, and against the national government. Um, um, but OK, to cut uh, a short story uh, even shorter, it was a disaster. Uh, the Labour Party leadership expelled the Socialist League within weeks. Uh, the Communist Party, the Independent Labour Party fell out big time in part uh, over uh, the events described a year or so later by Orwell in Homage Catalonia um, um, uh, uh, in uh, Spain. Crips. Uh, 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 essentially turned to the uh, communists uh, uh, um, um, and to the publisher Victor Galansk to uh, uh, rescue uh, the uh, uh, whole show and, well, even appointed a secret member of the Communist Party as editor um, after a giant bust-up in 1938. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, this is not massively relevant to uh, 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 what I'm talking about now. Uh, in a piece for the 10th anniversary of the uh, paper, um, uh, Orwell drew a discreet veil over it. Um, um, I did not learn of the existence of Tribune until sometime in 1939. It started in 1937, but of the 30 months that intervened before the outbreak of war, I spent five in hospital and 13 abroad. What first drew my attention to it, I believe, was a none too friendly review of the novel of mine. But it would be really quite odd if Orwell really did first hear of the paper three months after returning from Morocco. Um, he knew well many people uh, associated with uh, the paper, and he belonged to the left-wing milieu uh, in which it circulated, um, very much a dissident member, as we know. And after his experience in Spain, uh, he'd become an obsessive reader of the left press, uh, not least because he felt a burning urge to counter the lies uh, that had been spread about his comrades in arms in uh, Spain. So Tribune, uh, when it dropped its pro-Soviet line in 1940, um, was something that was kind of important to him. Um, it wasn't his priority. Uh, uh, Raymond Postgate, who uh, took over the uh, editorship in uh, uh, 1940, um, uh, um, commissioned him um, and he wrote uh, uh, a few pieces, mainly uh, book reviews. Um, but um, to be honest, it's quite difficult to uh, uh, associate uh, uh, Orwell with the Tribune milieu during uh, uh, Postgate's uh, 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 editorship. Um, I don't think that Postgate really liked him. Um, but uh, uh, um, anyway, that's uh, uh, um, uh, a matter for uh, discussion. There's a sniffy review of Orwell's contribution to Galantz's uh, betrayal of the left um, in uh, uh, Tribune. Probably the worst thing he ever wrote, which is not the way you generally uh, treat uh, contributors to your paper. Um, uh, anyway, uh, he was not part of the core postgate contributor uh, uh, circle. He drifted away um, and, uh, of course, joined the BBC, um, which another kind of uh, 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 dispiriting uh, experience, two wasted years, as uh, uh, he described it. And he actually rejoined uh, 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 or joined Tribune uh, largely through... Um, um, 
his relationship with uh, 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 John Kimchi, um, with whom he'd worked um, in a Hampstead bookshop um, in the uh, 1930s. Um, he, Kimchi, Tosco, Fivell, a kind of little bit of a nexus, um, um, uh, all uh, uh, um, uh, journalists, um, all uh, 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 working in kind of you know the same area. And uh, uh, Tosco Fivell, Kimchi's best mate, um, had worked with Orwell and um, uh, Frederick Warburg on a series of books making the case for uh, socialist transformation as the goal of war. Um, um, it was through Fivell, leaning on Kimchi, that uh, Orwell got the job as Tribune literary uh, editor. He worked there three days a week. Um, um, there are some uh, 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 marvellous uh, uh, descriptions of uh, 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 the uh, working conditions. Uh, the uh, um, offices were on the third floor, the large uh, uh, building um, still there, uh, largely occupied by lawyers, uh, 222 the, st uh, the Strand, uh, opposite the Royal Courts of Justice, um, um, and, well, in the olden days, uh, to reach them uh, from the street involved climbing eight flights of uh, stairs or risking a journey on a, a really a dodgy hydraulic uh, uh, lift. Um, anyway, um, the, uh, 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 the editorial staff comprised Kimchi, Orwell, Evening uh, uh, Anderson, no relation, uh, who was assistant uh, uh, editor, a German uh, uh, emigre, um, three rooms, um, um, and uh, uh, Orwell described it as a cramped little office looking out onto a backyard. Um, he wrote his column at home um, and went into the paper's offices uh, every Wednesday uh, to uh, see the pages off um, um, and uh, uh, um, do the routine work of contacting uh, publishers, sending out review copies. Um, it was also a regular... Uh, at the paper's weekly editorial meetings on a Thursday after the paper had gone to press, um, uh, which were attended by uh, uh, Bevan um, and by uh, George Strauss, uh, who was by this point bankrolling uh, the paper. It was a very rich uh, Labour MP um, 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 and uh, had uh, a swanky uh, London home near uh, Hyde Park, where uh, most of the editorial meetings uh, 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 took place. I wish there were uh, uh, pics of them, but, uh, well, there aren't. Uh, more than 30 years later, uh, Kimchi described the meetings as rather like a stage play by Harold Pinter with Bevan and Orwell speaking in monologues about what each would be writing for the next issue. Now, um, I'm aware that I'm running out of a, 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 a time here, and I thought I'd timed this perfectly, uh, but uh, I haven't. Um, anyway, when he wasn't doing Tribune work in 1943-45, Orwell wrote at home, completing Animal Farm, um, half a dozen uh, substantial essays, as well as doing uh, uh, freelance uh, 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 work. Incredible uh, 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 productivity, particularly uh, given his personal domestic circumstances and poor health, uh, um, uh, TB made him short of uh, a breath at best of times, um, uh, difficulties with finding publisher for Animal Farm until uh, 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 Frederick Warburg uh, agreed to take the book in uh, late uh, um, 1944. Um, um, his wife Eileen adopted a uh, newborn, uh, he and his wife Eileen adopted newborn baby, uh, 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 um, Richard, um, in um, um, uh, uh, 1944. Um, uh, they're bombed out of their uh, 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 flat um, or in, uh, um, um, in uh, Kilman. Um, and uh, have to well flats it for with uh, uh, with a friend before finding 
uh, somewhere to live in Canterbury. Um, um, and well, okay, through all of this, he's keeping up a hectic social life, uh, regularly lunching, uh, uh, drinking with friends in uh, pubs and restaurants around Fleet Street and Soho. Um, but anyway, okay, he's he's got itchy feet by early 1945 um, and uh, um, uh, takes um, the offer from uh, his friend David uh, uh, Astor to become war correspondent for the Observer. That's the uh, main kind of reason for uh, his uh, uh, break uh, 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 or for the break in the continuity of his uh, uh, contributions to uh, Tribune. Um, 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 I'm not going to go into uh, uh, all of this, but uh, uh, the crucial uh, uh, thing here is that his spell as war correspondent is brief. Uh, it's uh, brought short um, both by the tragic death of uh, Eileen and by his own uh, illness. He's back at Tribune, uh, not a happy man. Um, I think the death of Eileen devastated him and uh, um, uh, you know, still frantic activity um, um, on absolutely everything uh, uh, during the uh, summer of uh, 1945, which is also when he, uh, uh, thanks to Astor, finds somewhere to kind of escape to in uh, 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 Jura. But he's back to London and Tribune uh, in autumn 1945, resumes the column uh, on uh, uh, 19th October 1945, not published as As I Please, because Jenny Lee had uh, nabbed the title. Um, the uh, staff on the paper has changed uh, um, um, in the meantime. Um, Kimchi is uh, uh, gone temporarily. Fivel was uh, uh, in Orwell's uh, old job. Uh, um, and the role of political director, nominal editor, as uh, um, um, uh, the joke uh, uh, went, been taken over by Michael Foote because uh, uh, Bevan had joined the government. Um, the general political line remained the same, however. Okay. Um, and well, as did most of the contributors, but by this point, Orwell is not actually running the reviews page. All he's doing, I say all he's doing, what he's doing is writing uh, a, a weekly uh, column. Now, okay. The 45-46 uh, 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 um, Orwell Tribune columns, dozen or more pieces that are some of the most incisive and memorable journalistic writing that he ever did. Uh, you and the Atom Bomb, Revenge is Sour, Through a Glass, Rosalie, The Politics of Starvation, Freedom of the Park. Um, I'm not going to reel off absolutely all of them. Uh, decline of the English murder is my favourite, but uh, 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 there we go. Uh, politically, it's important, though, uh, to emphasise Orwell's in agreement uh, uh, with uh, the paper at this point, more probably uh, than um, uh, ever uh, uh, before. Labour was elected to government uh, July 1945, still enjoying its honeymoon uh, with the uh, uh, voters. And on most things, uh, Orwell and Tribune are very, very close to uh, government uh, um, uh, thinking. Now, there are differences which we can uh, 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 talk about. But in this kind of period, 45, 46, there are, you know, they are not very, very significant. Um, OK, the final run of Orwell's uh, 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 Tribune columns uh, which is uh, uh, 46 to 47. The, uh, 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 there's a gap between the 45, 46 uh, 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 batch and the 46, 47, because he's trying to sort out um, um, uh, the move to uh, Jura. But the final run, I think, is actually the uh, best. It's very... As before, in subject matter, as stylish. Topics include women's magazines, immigration, uh, uh, the method used to hang war criminals, um, and uh, so forth. Um, 
it's also very interesting politically because this is a period when Orwell begins to pick bones again uh, with the Tribune editorial line. Um, by late 46, Tribune was starting to have doubts about uh, uh, Ernest Bevin's conduct of uh, uh, foreign policy as the Labour Foreign Secretary, particularly over its, uh, well, his consistent uh, pro-American uh, uh, line and uh, his opposition to creation of a Jewish state in Palestine. Um, what's interesting about uh, 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 46, 47, uh, from the Orwellian point of view, is that Orwell backs Bevin um, uh, on uh, all of uh, this. He's broadly supportive of uh, 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 Bevin's policy, sceptical about the idea um, that's uh, very much uh, um, a Tribune thing, although actually the main uh, pamphlet advocating it is uh, published by the New Statesman for a third way foreign policy, neither Washington nor uh, Moscow, but a, a European federal um, uh, um, uh, state that's uh, uh, independent. But he's also very much anti-Zionist in terms of um, his uh, 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 approach to uh, the um, 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 uh, 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 Palestine uh, um, uh, issue and thinks that Tribune is over enthusiastic uh, for the creation of uh, a, a Jewish state. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, the point here, though, is Orwell's disagreement with Tribune weren't uh, uh, the reason uh, he wrote nothing for it between uh, the last As I Please in May 1947 and his uh, uh, death in uh, uh, January 1950. He'd actually planned to return to his pages, was simply too busy uh, with 1984 and then uh, too ill uh, to uh, do so. So he spent uh, December 1947, July 1948 hospitalised uh, near Glasgow. Uh, uh, returned to Jura to finish 1984 and uh, fell ill again, um, completing the typescript in uh, uh, bed and had it over in December 1948 and immediately hospitalised again. He was not a, a, a well man. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. OK, just to uh, wrap up. Um, um, there's a, a famous uh, 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 quote from Herbert Morrison that uh, uh, socialism is what Labour governments do, um, which um, is up to a point kind of uh, 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 true. But, well, Tribune socialism, um, uh, the politics of the paper, um, has always been... Uh, uh, a matter of what the paper uh, has uh, uh, done. And I think uh, 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 Orwell, as its star columnist uh, from 1943 to 47, um, defined Tribune socialism almost as much as Anarim Bevin or Michael Foote. Um, it was a far more eclectic and open paper uh, than it had uh, uh, been in uh, its uh, uh, early years, not particularly attached to um, parliamentary socialism in the uh, 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 way that it uh, subsequently, subsequently became. Um, and, well, it was Orwell's home. Um, and, well, OK, much later mine. Um, um, I wish we got something uh, rather like it now. Well, thank you very, very much. That was uh, very stimulating, Paul. Um, I'd like to wish you all a, a, a wonderful Christmas break and everything you wish for for the new year. Uh, next year, is, uh, we've got some um, a number of authors who will be giving George talks about their new works, including uh, Peter and 
and Masha and uh, uh, DJ T, of course, with his uh, new biography uh, and uh, a very interesting book coming from uh, Anna Thunder. Um, and uh, on the more physical front, um, we, it, it would have been uh, almost 120th, so the the weekend we normally go to Sutton Courtney uh, will be not just the Sunday, but a, a three a Friday evening Sunday afternoon event. And uh, if you've not signed up for that, I'd, I'd love to see you there. Uh, and we have some new things happening. Um, uh, two of them as a consequence of some uh, great research done by two, two of our, our, our members. Um, the one that isn't is a visit to Eton in the middle of March. Uh, Neil Smith did some great research on Orwell and the uh, hop fields. And um, I think probably uh, Kevin um, Carter probably knows more about the time that Orwell spent in well, Morocco than any other individual. And uh, uh, Richard and, um, uh, and I and our wives uh, benefited from that when we did the exploratory and we will be having a visit to Morocco in the first week in November. So uh, over and out from me and thank you very much indeed Paul. And thank you all very much and uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, and, uh, I hope to see you all soon. Cheers. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.